Mexico. And you are dead. Interesting facts about famous people. James Coburn Westerns. A new and worthy Western actor I'm adding to the channel today is James Coburn, including his starring, supporting and cameo appearances. Coburn brought a certain shade of cowboy to the genre. Comfortable in a co-starring or ensemble cast, just as suited to lead roles. A very unique and strong presence in any role he played. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many other videos, head over to my channel. The link's in the description. Let's get into it. I am New Mexico. A Reason to Live, A Reason to Die, 1972. James Coburn as Colonel Pembroke. Directed by Tonino Valeri. James Coburn in the role of a shrewd and resourceful military officer seeking vengeance in this action western. Charismatic Coburn's intense performance lifts the film, creating a captivating story of determination, redemption and justice. A Reason to Live, A Reason to Die shows Coburn's talent for injecting life into complicated characters and delivering a riveting experience. Bite the Bullet, 1975. James Coburn as Luke Matthews, directed by Richard Brooks. A story about a tough 700 mile horse race featuring James Coburn as Luke Matthews, an experienced and weathered cowboy out for the prize. Coburn's performance of the tough yet sympathetic Matthews shows his ability to bring humanity and depth to the iconic Western hero. Bite the Bullet's combination of gripping story beautiful cinematography and Coburn's performance make it a great western. Draw, 1984. James Coburn as Sam Starrett. Directed by Stephen Hillard Stern. In this suspenseful western, Coburn plays the role of a retired gunfighter, forced back into action to save his town. His grizzled, worn-out betrayal conveys the experience of his character's history and inevitable violence that he cannot avoid. Coburn brings a strong and captivating performance, lifting the film to the status of a true Western star. Duck You Sucker, or A Fistful of Dynamite, 1971. James Coburn as John Mallory, directed by Sergio Leone. This film features Coburn as an Irish explosive expert who joins forces with a Mexican bandit during the Mexican Revolution. Coburn's portrayal of a compassionate yet haunted man searching for redemption via a fight for freedom brings his emotional depth to the film. Duck You Sucker is evidence of Coburn's ability to immerse himself in complicated roles and lifts any film he plays in. Face of a Fugitive, 1959, James Coburn as Purdy, directed by Paul Wendkos. Coburn is thrilling in this tale of a jailbreak. Coburn's steely resolve and relentless pursuit of justice make for a compelling and intense performance, perfectly capturing the essence of the classic Western lawman. Face of a Fugitive remains a fan favourite, largely due to Coburn's unwavering commitment to his character and the genre. Major Dundee, 1965, James Coburn as Samuel Potts, directed by Sam Peckingpah. Coburn plays a loyal and skilled scout in this western tale of a Union officer leading an irregular troop to search for Confederate prisoners. Coburn's performance adds authenticity to the ensemble cast, showing his ability to seamlessly integrate into a diverse group of characters. Major Dundee's combination of compelling storytelling, great performances, and its use of themes like loyalty and duty make it a standout western. 
Maverick, 1994. James Coburn as Commodore Duval, directed by Richard Donner. This light-hearted comedic western, James Coburn is a charming and sophisticated con man. Coburn's charisma and comic timing provide some of the film's best moments, showing his versatility as an actor. Maverick's blend of humour, adventure and memorable characters, including Coburn's performance, make it a modern classic in the western genre. Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, James Coburn as Pat Garrett, directed by Sam Peckingpaw. Coburn portrays the lawman tasked with hunting down the notorious outlaw Billy the Kid, played by Chris Christopherson, in this western tale. Their relationship creates a palpable tension throughout the film, with Coburn as the haunted man torn between duty and friendship. His portrayal of Garrett's inner conflict and determination makes this film a must-watch for Western enthusiasts. Ride Lonesome, 1959. James Coburn as an outlaw named Wit. Directed by Bud Bodicher. In this classic Western film, James Coburn is known for his knife-wielding skills and menacing presence. This Western explores themes of redemption, betrayal and sacrifice, while showing Coburn's ability to embody a complex and intimidating character. Ride Lonesome is a standout role in Coburn's career, featuring his talent for bringing depth and nuance to a anti-hero. The Last Hard Men, 1976. James Coburn as Zach Provo, directed by Andrew McLaughlin. James Coburn stars as a vengeful and resourceful convict leading an escape in this western tale of pursuit and retribution. Coburn's intense performance showcases the complexity of a character driven by both hate and love, drawing the audience in and leaving them on the edge of their seats. A testament to Coburn's skill to disappear into a role, bringing a gripping and memorable experience. The Magnificent Seven 1960, James Coburn as Brit, directed by John Sturgis. The knife-wielding Brit well, in this I iconic want. Western, James Coburn cements his status as an established actor within the genre. His superbly crafted performance grabs the essence of a deadly character who, despite his tough persona, is motivated with a need for justice. The Magnificent Seven is a true classic, and Coburn's portrayal of Brit is one of the reasons why. Waterhole No. 3, 1967, James Coburn as Luton Cole, directed by William Graham. Coburn, a charming and cunning thief, seeking a hidden stash of gold. Coburn's charisma and skill for witty banter make him a memorable character, showing his flexibility as an actor in a lighter role. Waterhole No. 3's mix of humour, adventure and Coburn's performance make it an entertaining entry in the Western genre. Young Guns 2, 1990, James Coburn as John Chisholm, directed by Jeff Murphy. A wealthy cattle baron, James Coburn brings authenticity and complexity to this sequel. His role of the man torn between protecting his interests and navigating the world of outlaws provides an interesting counterpoint to the film's younger counterparts. Coburn brings his seasoned presence, reaffirming his status as a worthy actor in the Western genre. I was never that much. Pieced it all together. Thank you for your time today. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate likes and subscribers. Hit the notification bell to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel. The link's in the description. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.